Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the Math2 operator functions. It's going to be probably a little bit more of a theory video, but nevertheless, something that if you are not familiar with, something that you should really know. Of course, for the expert or people which have been creating um, uh, synthesis and sounds uh, uh, for a long time that might be something that they already know but uh, for the novice uh, for the novice and the beginner something that uh, of course I'm sure they will find of use and useful so let's start by adding a uh, under processor a amplitude envelope with an ADSR then let's introduce under generator an oscillator and then also another oscillator okay then <clears throat> what we are going to do is to also introduce between the U2 oscillator and the utility we scroll down an oscilloscope and we connect that oscilloscope to the first oscillator as it is and also after the second oscillator we are going to introduce another um, oscilloscope which is already connected as you can see to the second oscillator we ensure that both oscillators receive uh, um, gate events from the MIDI to CV rack module like so so that we can use our keys here as well um, next we are going to also add another oscillator at, uh, the, uh, at the end here which will be used practically to show us the mathematical operation between oscillator number one and number two. Why these oscillators will show us exactly the waveform coming out from, uh, sorry, this oscilloscope will show us uh, the waveform coming out from each of the different oscillators. So just to make sure that everybody um, understand where we are. So we have one oscillator and an oscilloscope showing the waveform. And we have a second oscillator that uh, with an oscilloscope showing the oscillator waveform number two and then we have a third oscilloscope here which will show us a combination or mathematical operation between these two oscillators this one and that one so let's start then so um first of all let's decrease the tune therefore the frequency and on the first oscillator and let's increase the x scale and I change the, the type of waveform to um, to sign. Okay, we adjust again the X scale, so you can clearly see the sound wave now. Let's do the same on oscilloscope number two. Uh, again, we choose uh, from oscillator to a sine wave, and we increase the um, we decrease the um, tune or frequency, and we increase the X scale. Okay. So next, let's uh, um, add uh, under MUF, under um, two operators, and an add module. So let's connect that oscilloscope to the add module, like so. And then let's connect the oscilloscope one and two to the add module, like so. And like so. Okay. So as you can see, we have now uh, oscilloscope free showing us the waveform which is a combined um, version of the two waveforms coming out from oscillator number one and oscillator number two so let's change the x scale again now at the moment you see a waveform which is lower than the two combined and that's because uh, um, the two oscillators started to uh, oscillate at different times so let's give a click on the key again to synchronize them. As you can see, as soon as I clicked on the key, uh, the, um, the amplitude of the waveform coming up from uh, coming out from the add module has double because he's adding the two waveforms, which comes out from the two oscillators here. And for the references of this tutorial, I'm going to either point to the oscillator, the oscilloscope. Uh, so that you understand so yeah, the amplitude is much much uh, is double practically so now let's increase the frequency of the second uh, uh, oscillator as you can see the waveform is changing depend because the uh, oscillator number two is um, is oscillating a much quicker uh, frequency and therefore it will not always be 
um, sending out a waveform which will have a positive signal where uh, at the same time the, the first oscillator will be positive therefore the uh, waveform will start to change let's increase a grain the frequency and as you can see what is happening as I go and increase again the frequency is that um, the um, you have the general waveform of a sign from the first oscillator but then you have added on top as the first oscillator is oscillating a very quick uh, second oscillator at a higher frequency and that's the result okay now uh, let's decrease again uh, the speed or the frequency sorry now let's change the um, the waveform of oscillator number two so let's for example go to I don't know pulse as you can see a pulse it goes up and down therefore when it goes up uh, it will increase the um, uh, the output when it is uh, of course going down it will decrease the output from the first oscillator okay so uh, and this is the waveform that you of course obtain let's change the threshold on this oscilloscope to show what is happening here we go it's practically you have an inverted sine wave because effectively when the pulse is is negative you have an inverted like that when it's positive in this case is landing on the uh, negative part of the uh, waveform from oscillator number one so it is moved up to the top so this is what is happening and of course if you want to change this you probably um, and you want only positive or negative you will have probably to act on the phase for oscillator uh, number two or oscillator number one so to do a phase adjustment okay another example let's go to uh, actually before i go to another example let's change the pulse width to see what happens see the pulse width is uh, becoming narrow and narrow and narrow or we can make it wider like so so it will go all positive so i have transferred practically the sinusoid up um the positive uh, y axis okay and of course as uh, if you try to play uh, of course at the moment you don't have great sound because uh, the frequency are actually quite low but as you increase the frequency you will start to hear a unique sound you hear there is a sine waveform and also a pulse waveform at the same time okay right now that you know how um, this works we can change for example the type of mathematical module that we are using so in this case for example we can say um add in instead of an add module a subtract module so you can subtract one form to the uh, from the other one or you can multiply the two waveforms so you can add a subtract one or you can add a multiply one and or you can also divide be careful with the divide and multiply because the sounds you're going to generate might uh, well go off uh, uh, the chart and have a very high amplitude Something else as well which you can do is also to bring in a module which uh, will bring you the minimal value uh, between the two forms and also the maximum value of the two forms. Or if you prefer to have more flexibility, there is also a function module. So let's see how that works. So let's remove these uh, uh, modules. And the function module or rack enables you to change the uh, mathematical operation between the two sources in this case let's connect them the first um, oscillator and uh, the second oscillator and let's connect the oscilloscope to uh, the function module like so uh, so you, you can change the mathematical function between these uh, two sources in this case we are doing an addition which is not like the other module or we can do for example subtraction as well again it depends uh, is it comes zero here depends on uh, the phasing of course and also the frequency uh, here we go or you 
you can do um, multiplication between the two or you can say find me the maximum between the two uh, signals um, or the minimal or additionally what you can do is generate a pulse signal where you say if uh, waveform A is greater than B then uh, send out a 1 as a signal and this is what is happening here and uh, let's change there uh, uh, we go uh, threshold uh, uh, here we are you can see that it is uh, becoming practically a um, pulse signal right so when in this case uh, waveform A is greater than B send out a 1 and of course this depends on the different waveforms that you selected on the two oscillators when they've been triggered okay in terms of phasing and also the frequency that they are running okay and all the other settings so uh, for example let's choose here the pulse okay and um, let's move this this way uh, so we make it smaller uh, okay uh, or for example let's increase the frequency as well and yeah and as you can see you have different uh, type of sound uh, with different texture that will emerge you can do B greater than A. Okay, let's do a sine wave as well. Okay, I hope you found uh, this tutorial useful, more of a fee theoretical tutorial, but nevertheless, you can use what you learned now to combine different waveforms coming from different oscillators or other. Uh, uh, sound source to create more uh, uh, sophisticated uh, um, sounds as you prefer. See you next time. Bye.